Okay, hello, my name is Jesus Gonzalez, and today I'm going to go over this code. It is basically a tutorial of if-else statements. So the way this code works, it's first to go over it, we're gonna press this one to reset. So first, we press the green flag to reset the code. So, and then after that's when the code's gonna begin running. We're going to have 10 cycles of our blue ball moving. This is on our, this, all this code is for our, our sprite, excuse me. We're going to have 10 cycles of our ball moving to random positions on the screen. So our ball, this code right here, just has to do with our ball moving around the screen. So right here, it's going to go glide to this position, and it's going to stop. Glide to this position, it's going to repeat that 10 times. This is what this loop does. So then this piece of code is very important right here with this if and else statement, because this has to do with the ball touching these different three colors. If the ball is touching the red color and you click on it, then this if statement will be activated. If the ball is touching yellow and you click on it because it says when I am clicked, then this if statement will be activated. If the ball is touching green and you click on it, then this if statement will be activated. So look, yellow, click on it, this if statement is activated. Or here, let me re go ahead and reset. Attention on yellow, 20 plus 25. This if statement has been activated where it says say plus 25 and the score has been increased by 25. You press it on it in the red, it's going to say minus 25. And this part of the if statement would have been activated. Now look, let's try to go ahead and get green. Right here. Press on it, plus 50, because this is part of the if statement was activated. So now the way the code works is you just continue to try to get your points up, try to press on it, try to press on it inside of um the this area where you increase your points. And then once the game is finished running, if your score is less than zero, it will say better luck next time. Or if it is greater than zero, it will say good game. It's an if else statement, so only one or the other will be said. So right here, our score is 50, so that's why good game was said. And if score happens to be at better over 500, then this part of the is statement will be activated and it will say, wow, that's a lot of points. So now if we were to change our code to, let's say, let's say something like this. If we were to have an if else statement right here, instead of, let me duplicate this to make sure that I don't lose anything. Let's say we're gonna have an if else statement right here of touching yellow or not touching yellow. If this was how our code ran, for example, let's let's put it like this. Now it's if it's touching red, then this part of the statement will be activated. Or if it's touching yellow, then this will be activated. Or if it's touching anything else, which is red or white, then it will be activated. So look, let's go ahead and run it. Touching green, we get plus twenty-five. I think that actually kind of touching yellow. We get minus twenty-five. And then pressing white, pressing white, we get plus 50 because now it's a part of the if statement, even though white should be giving zero points. So that's how if statements help run the code. And thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. Let me go ahead and...